What's up, what's up, what's up, world? Welcome to part 25 of this XCOM Enemy Within game where we are just trying to save Mother Earth from these aliens. Let me get a timer running. There we go. All right. So we've got 165 meld. We're almost to the end of the month as well, which is great. I am excited for that. Uh, I want to check out some of these mech things. Mechs cost so much money. All right, let's check this out. I know what the assault, right? This guy's assault. What is he actually? He may not actually, I forget what he is. He might have been a heavy. We have nothing but heavies in this game. Probably was one. But we want to check these things out. Damage received from enemies within four tiles is reduced by 33%. Not really necessary. Any shots taken without moving have plus 10 aim and plus 10 crit chance. I might do a sniper next. I might. That would be pretty pleasant. Nearest visible enemy suffers 20 aim. Eh, don't need that. And, uh, wait, this is another sniper. Support. Nearby allies receive plus, in cover, receive plus 10 defense. So this is what I'm thinking. I would love to get a support mech because I just think that sounds fun. I know. It just sounds fun to me. Um, but obviously we are limited in resources so I'm gonna say that a sniper mech is gonna be the way that we want to go so we're gonna go check out our barracks real quick I wish you could sort I've never thought about that before but it'd be kinda nice to be able to sort it I know it's in rank of, of like the highest ranks and stuff but it'd be sweet another Olsen I feel like we've had an Olsen from this country before which is cool I'm also pretty sure that Olsen is dead uh, either that or they're renamed into one of these people. I love when uh, the same names come up. In Xenonauts, the uh, game that's a lot like this game, uh, there are sometimes people with the same last name from the same country, and I always like to pretend they're like husband and wife or brothers or sisters and stuff like that. I mean, it's just really cool to, to have that kind of roleplay ability. So we've got Corporal William Gibson, the sniper. We have Lieutenant Deland, one of my favorites and Klaus Klaus is hanging out I don't like Klaus one bit I, you know I don't like Klaus so why don't we chop off his arms and legs right right maybe maybe it would be such a waste of meld though but it would certainly feel great let's check out Gibson Gibson are you any good Gibson you're decent you got a haircut Durand I love Durand. I love it. I don't want her to lose her abilities though. She's pretty darn good. And we're definitely not doing Barlev. Barlev is just too too special. We're keeping her. Alright, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Let's check out the build mechs things. Build a new mech. Uh, is this an insta-click? I don't want to just insta-click. What's this? Oh, I have a damaged one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not repairing that. I don't need that right now. <laughs> Let's see. If I was to make this guy into a sniper kind of one, I still like the connect punch. Wow. There's really no reason to make a different one besides that extra bonus. I like all the basic things I already have on that guy. So, all right, not that important. Instead, we're going to visit the Gene Lab, and we're going to add in Durand. I really like her. Uh, she's been proven to be an extremely valuable sniper. Where is she on this list? So she is going to get herself some new eyes or something. Let's see what we got. No, not that one. First plus 20 will when defending against side attacks and immune to panic if this soldier's mind explode. It is canceled. I love it. We're gonna give her a brain upgrade. Thank you, Commander. I Anybody else? War dog. What do we got on you? Oh yeah, you definitely need a brain upgrade. We'll get him one too. And one more, perhaps. Barlev, you are just incredible. She's already got three upgrades. That chick has been through it all. Who's another one of my favorites here? Do we got anybody? I think Cod Time's already been modified in some effect. 
He's got an incredible will to begin with. We're going to go ahead and give him Neural Dampening as well. So Neural Dampening all around. Three of our soldiers getting some Neural Dampening upgrades. That'll be useful. Alright. That's cool, man. That's cool. Let's go ahead and uh, mission control this. Try and get to this next month. Oh, new soldiers. Oh, an Exalt Cell thing. Exalt Operation in Mexico. Exalt Agitation has increased panic. The Exalt Cell is exposed for now. We'll be going into hiding soon. Let's go to the Situation Room. Look at this. Attempt rate on Exalt HQ. I really don't know what that's all about. But we're still going to keep doing these covert operations. We've got time. We've got time. Let's do these covert operations. And uh, just keep on keeping on. Alright, we're not sending you in. We are sending in Klaus again. The most expendable of them all. Laser pistol. And all his grenades. Um, I'll give him a scope. Why not? He can have one. Enjoy. Scope. Uh, alien grenade. Why not? We'll give him the best of stuff. Even though other soldiers could use that. Alright, we're going to let him do his thing down there. We got some new soldiers. Let's check them out real quick. I'm eager to see what we got. I already knew we had two heavies in here. So now, oh, support heavy, support sniper, and assault. We got one of each. Why can't this have happened so many times more in the past? I'll take one of each. I'll take one of each. Also, what do we have in here? We need to get another one of my boys in here. He has died twice before. And his great-grandson... Um, Oh, great granddaughter. There we go. Actually, his daughter. There we go. That's more fitting in the timeline since this is technically only a couple of months. We're not going on here. So uh, you all know. Let's 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 go through this entire storyline real quick, guys. Let's go through the storyline. We gotta do him the honor. Sergeant Jedi Combo Watchman. Who fell in Operation Final Blade to a cyber disc cannon with three kills under his belt before expiring. Served bravely in the war. His son, Jedi Watchman Jr., also served bravely and also fell in battle during Operation, observation? No, ob operation Crimson Thunder to a plasma rifle. Yet even with these deaths plaguing the family, it did not stop his daughter from joining the war effort. His daughter, who had moved to Canada at the time, heard of her father and her brother's ill fates and joined the war effort. I wonder how I would name her. We're gonna definitely do this one. Last name Watchman. Duchess Watchman. There we go. And we'll change her uh, we'll change her nickname to Jedi. So it'll just fit Duchess Jedi Watchman. I like it. There we go. Alright, and uh, as far as the look of her, I don't know. I mean the look looks fine. Give her a special color per se. Maybe a purple. We don't have a purple yet. I've been wanting to do a purple for a while. A lavender. All right, we're gonna give her a lavender. That's how we're gonna go. Uh, head. Uh, we'll just keep that. Uh, that's fine. Um, their face though. Hair helmet. Gotcha. Love fiddling with this stuff. I always forget how to rotate. There we go. Oh, that's fine. Ponytail. I like it. Done. Duchess Watchman is now on the team. And while we're at it, let me rename one other. I was wondering the other day, since we have. Yvonne here I was trying to remember the name of the maid in Family Guy and I got it I got it written down actually let me pull it up because <laughs> I couldn't remember then I can't remember Consuela Consuela we're gonna change our first name to Consuela now when I say housekeeping it's perfect Consuela Chavez 
bam, we're finally naming the females in my operation. I'm horrible at the names, and we finally, finally are getting some females in here. So that's good. We can't, we can't rename Natasha Bartlett. I mean, we already renamed her to the Natasha part. She's just been in the, in the operation for too long, and that's good. That's good. We're good where we're at. So that's enough housekeeping for the day. Let's go ahead and go back in here. Go fast forward a little. Got an achievement, one gun at a time. That's cool. Don't know what that's for. Excuse my sniffles, by the way. Another one of these days, allergies, man. It's, uh, it's changing of seasons. Gets me every time. Look at that. That's just a beautiful sight to see. Mexico, the only place with any real unrest. France has got a little bit. Um, but Mexico's just got unrest because of that exalt cell, and we're going to wipe that out in a couple of days here, too. So that's not even a big problem. Scientist 14, Engineer 17, wonderful. Uh, two grand in money. We get a little bit less of that after, you know, taxes and upkeep and stuff. <laughs> and all successes. An A rating. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, we got a hyperwave relay coming in two days. I forget what that triggers in the campaign, but it'll trigger something. Uh, it'll probably step up some sort of fight in what's going on in the world. Five covert oper five days to the covert operation, so we're going to try and get to those real quick. Let's uh, see about spending some of this money. Always good things in the foundry no nah, I don't like any of that stuff advanced repair not really <laughs> I don't use these platforms anymore I used to use them all the time no oh this can improve our overall armor of design <laughs> yeah we'll do that I like this one we're going to go for that. 81 engineers, too. We're going to get good money back from doing a lot of this stuff. All right. We did the foundry. Let's go ahead and build uh, some facilities and such. We're going to excavate. Start getting all these excavations going. I'm also tempted to put another workshop right here. In fact, you know what? Why the heck not? I think that rebate will ultimately come back as a good thing. We're going to get a workshop going. I want money. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. Gene Lab. All right, my favorites were able to get their bonuses. Actually, who we like. At this point, I'm thinking of the people that I'm most likely going to take on that final missions, the final few missions that is, and uh, and then try and get them all the mental upgrades so that when we do fight they won't be scared so we're gonna get fat crusader neural dampening as well thank you commander i'll have the volunteer prepped and ready for surgery shortly i'll send word when they're proceeding get the hated neural dampening as well he's got some good skills i'll have the selected volunteer sent to surgical prep immediately once the genetic modification is complete i will notify you directly All right, that's good for now. I'd like to get one more going, but I don't really know who I'd want to give it to. Mama Bear, yes. Even if Mama Bear isn't on the final mission, because her stats are average. She is just such an incredible, incredible soldier. She's done so many things for us and that she deserves that. Look at that workshop rebate. Oh, it makes those workshops so worthwhile. Can't wait for that new one to come out. Make even more money back. 70 bucks that we got back for that. That's glorious. We now have this thing, which does something that I don't even remember. Um, do we have any facilities that we have not yet built that are like cool? Psionic labs, those are cool. Give us psionic powers, I, I do enjoy those. They have a great odds of success. I would really like to get those. Let's build it right here. 
Bionic Labs. Begin construction. Sweet. That's good. We're gonna need new power pretty soon too. Let me put it down like there or something. Um oh righty nighty. Office of training school. Rapid recovery. I don't need that. I really don't. There's an achievement involved for getting everything researched in there, but I don't care. I don't care. And here, alien grenade upgrade. All of our current frag grenades, it's deadly aversion. Yes. Let's do it. I like that. Anything else? It, nah, I don't like that. Oh, improved pistol? I like improved pistol. Aim of all soldiers. Heck yeah. Not that we even use pistol that much, but why not? We got money. Stealth satellites. I don't think that are that useful. But one of the things I really want is that crazy freaking rifle thing. Because that looks sweet. Let's buy one more scope. I know that six is all we need, but sometimes we have that extra person who runs, um, that runs stealth and covert operations, and I highly doubt we'll ever use it, but might as well have it. Buy another plasma sniper rifle, because I love my snipers, and we're finally starting to get some. Where is it? Well, oh, is this a blaster launcher? Yeah, I think it's just blaster launcher. Yes. I want one of these so bad, and we're gonna get it. I don't care if it's two hundred dollars. Takes two UFO flight computers. That's insane. But you know, it's gonna look. This weapon can only be used on heavy class soldiers. What? I thought this would have to be carried by. We're gonna buy one. I thought this would have to be carried by one of our big boys, but that's sweet. That's insane, actually. Wow. Okay. I wonder if that's an actual rocket launcher. Let's check this out. If it, let's check it out on Aldrich here. Load out. Oh yeah, it's an actual rocket launcher. Let's buy another one. We have so many of these heavies. We're gonna get a second one. That's kind of sweet. Never seen. I like that. They never had a rocket launcher upgrade before, so it's fun to have one now. We probably need another firestorm somewhere in the world, too. I'm just doing a bunch of housekeeping, spending all the money right now. We'll get into the game in a sec. But you know me, I love my housekeeping. <laughs> two ravens, two ravens, and a whole bunch of demons everywhere. Yeah, we are going to need some more of those pretty soon. We might as well. Yeah, we'll start building them. Manufacture... Let's go ahead and get three going. Why not? Spend all the money. Cool. Well, now we have a giant thing of stuff that's being worked on, which is awesome. Gene mods are done. Seriously? Another UFO has landed? Why can we never, ever shoot these things down? This is a supply barge, though, so it's going to be huge. We know this. Probably going to be a lot, a lot of resistance as well. And you know, just, look, it's it's in Russia, okay? They're not even part of us. Ridiculous. We gotta go up there and save people. <laughs> oh, that looks cool. Her uniform is all funky now. Okay, the team for this mission. I love Colonel Rinchen Jr. We gotta bring him again because I just love him. That, that's why we need a new mech, okay? We need a new mech so we can just rank up a second guy because... I hate bringing my colonels on board. It just seems counterproductive. It risks their life for no gain besides the fact that they're really, really good. Uh, the rest of these guys seem to be missing attachments, buddy. What are you missing? That? Okay, there you go. Titan armor. I gotta customize these guys because they got all their sleeveless shirts now. And the weird thing... Why do they even have that sticking out of them? I guess that's the meld needed to power their newly upgraded bodies and whatnot. Yeah, that looks cool. We're gonna go with that. There we go. He's uh he's ready to go. We'll bring uh Consuela with us. She is our 
Assault and Rising. Bring Durand with us as well. Okay, now I've got some missing scopes. You guys saw it. I have, I have seven in my inventory, and I can't find where they are at. I can just scroll through these guys, right? Who's got the scope? Who's got it? Mama Bear, give it back. Put Durand back in here. Oh, now I gotta find out where these. Ah, you, give me the pistol. No pistol for you. Basic pistol. Oh come on! I gotta find the armor too. Okay, this is just pain. She's not already wearing it. It looks yeah. She's wearing basic body armor. Where the heck did her other armor go? Let's go on the hunt again. Who had that last one? Was it Mama Bear or Helga? I think it was Helga who had stolen it. Oh, Mama Bear. She's stolen it too. Take off that Titan armor. No, no more for you. There she is. Bam. So you just got like a plastic sheet cover you just want to wrap like rip right on off customize yeah that's cool we'll go for that and Barato I like this guy he's coming along real well give him the sweet looking new rocket launcher I don't see it on his back or something but I can't wait to see it in action I like our assault She's coming along. She's got crappy fought, shot firing abilities, but it's okay. Um, and then Scarecrow, do we want you on this mission? 72 and a sergeant. Let's go ahead and pull her off of it. We've got some soldiers that I think would be better suited. Give her an exalt laser rifle because they just look cool. She can walk around base with that. Who do we want in her place? We have our sniper, we have our assault, we have our heavy, we have our support, so it's really just a bonus. A bonus round! We always bring a second sniper. You know what? Why not? We're gonna bring Duchess Watchman with us on this difficult, difficult mission. Because why not? <laughs> Doesn't really seem like a smart idea, but we're gonna do it. Duchess Watchman. Which one of you wants to give up your lovely, lovely laser pistol for her? I'm going to pick Durand. They're not going to be using it. Went through all that work to find it. Now we're going to give it to her. Okay. Wish her luck. Wish her luck. 60 aim is not bad, but that willpower. Wow. 36. Ugh. Ooh, you know she did. Phew. All right, let's do this. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. We're heading into China for the next operation. The alien craft landed in a remote area, which should help to minimize any risk to the surrounding community. We need to investigate and eliminate any hostile forces encountered. Well, this is going to be a big fight. I am sure of it. Lots of enemies. A full complement of enemy crew. Last time we faced a full enemy crew, it was pretty, pretty dangerous. So hopefully, no losses. We'll try and take it slow. We'll try and play it smart. 